vile necropolis radiates with filth. I can hardly bear to scry it from here. Pollination event imminent. Square to engage greater blue spawn immediately. I think it's the most emotion I've heard out the Dominus. For a while, at least. Uh, anyway. Okay, so it's this map. This one's a bit of a weird one. How many bloom spawn have we got and where? So one, that side, one, there, other one, far side? Oh, all the way back there. Okay, that's a bit... Hmm. Normally they spawn, like, in the corners. That's a bit weird. And then spread up the middle, I assume. Okay. So, if I remember correctly, there's a bloom seed in this corner somewhere. Yeah, there. And then there's also going to be a bloom seed there. And should be one back here? Here. We'll probably ignore this one. It doesn't really benefit us to go for it, but we can pick up the other two. So we'll probably head to this one first. Then the mid. Pick up that seed there while we're there. Swing over, deal with this, head through the middle. Pretty simple and straightforward. So let's get started. I don't think we need to worry about picking up these things, so it's just a straight run for the center. I think, if I remember the packs correctly, there's a pack here, pack here, pack at the back, and one somewhere up there. So, shouldn't run into a pack before this tree, I don't think. Or if we do, it'll be, like, behind it. So, let's start that way. How far do we think we can get before we trigger the tree? I think we can get... If we step here, we'll insta-trigger it. So let's go two. Let's see if we get any intel on a pack or something that might cause us to worry. I don't think there is one, as I said, but... It doesn't help to be hurt to be cautious. <laughs> it should help to be cautious, but... Uh, Alright, so we'll pick up... Do we need the executes? It's a tree mission, so I think the crits are more important. So we'll run with that. We shouldn't... It's not required that we pick up the extra AP for an execute. I don't think so. We'll skip it, essentially. We are still going to be trying to feed the purifier XP, because he's not full level and everyone else is. Ooh, that's just on the edge, so everyone can get to that line. And then shuffle. It doesn't matter if we trigger it now. There we go, that's the trigger. Because we essentially are just going to all in it. I don't... Again, I don't think there's a pack here, so we don't have to worry about triggering that as well. If there is, we have enough to deal with it, actually, but... Okay, it's just out of range. That should mean we have room to hit the tree and then essentially reset onto it. Then come this way. So let's start... We've got the crit from you. You don't need to do anything. You can just run in when you get there. Okay, so we can start with the intercept, I believe. Hopefully he doesn't, like, insta-kill it. I mean, he did most of the work. <laughs> um, and then we can go with you. This will mostly be to get people forward. It's not actually to get damage on with the uh, chaplain. The others should be able to get in range. Or at least range to shoot. Don't want to put it there because that will block the purifier. And the purifier is the one who actually needs to get in for the kill. So if we do this, it'll be on... I mean, if it crits, ends it. That's the problem. I guess the purifier should be able to just kill it in two. How much is he doing? Five with the chance of crit. We can hammer hand it if we need to. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I don't think there's a way. How much damage does your bolter do? That works. So we'll do it that way. Essentially trying to figure out if there was a way of guaranteeing the purify the kill without wasting a willpower. Start. Moving on. Get the chaplain up. Basically get the terminators up. But, because they're always going to be lagging behind, aren't they? Uh, I think we'll have them trigger it, actually, if they are going... I, I, should, I expect when we step to this corner, it'll trigger it. So let's... There we go. Ooh, chaos spawned by itself. 
Now, in theory, that's a very easy pack to deal with. Because you can just all in it. Like, it doesn't have any auto abilities. It doesn't have an overwatch. If you let it live, you're in trouble. But the idea is it doesn't get to live, so, you know. <laughs> now, this will be our last teleport reset, so we do have to bear that in mind. I don't think we're going to one-turn the mission, so he'll get it back by the time... Do you have a shot from there? You do. That matters because we're going to be popping around, so, because there's no point running in to get one hit when we can just hopefully get the auto-reload. Daka. I think that was the auto-reload going off, so we can just do it again. It is going to be mutating. There's nothing we can do about that. If we brought the Purgator or the Apothecary, we could turn this off. But, well, <laughs> we didn't. Okay, so now I don't want to step that way because that might pull the pack. So it's a case of can we get round to do damage or do I need to... Hmm. I might be okay just sending the Interceptor in now. Okay, I don't think standing there will trigger that pack, so we're just going to send the Interceptor in initially. Didn't get a crit, unfortunately. We do have one of the chapter in Quicksilver as backups, but I'm going to pop Hammerhand now just to get it out of the way. Uh, I don't think I need Green Seeds, so I'm okay ignoring them. Normally I'd be looking for seeds, but I don't want this thing doing anything when it dies, because we haven't got a way of uh, we haven't got a way of disabling it, essentially okay, now I can take him but that will be all of his reset so the we will need a turn end before this ends, essentially. Can we get round there in free from this angle? No. Okay. So we can do free shots from there. Is that enough damage? It is with a side bolt. Which is good enough. Alternative, we could bolter it from there. That doesn't kill it, I think. Yeah, that, do that doesn't kill it. So we can bolter from here. Even if we crit. And then Chaplin can run forward just to gain distance. Purify can get the kill. Like, Chaos Spawner worth a lot, so him getting the kill on this is going to be huge. And... Full reload. We are out of resets on the Interceptor, though, so that is something to bear in mind, but... Well... It was going to happen anyway. We may we may in turn. I think we'll go here. We'll get this this turn. Run back here. We won't be able to engage this this turn. I don't think so. That'll be the turn end reset, and then we'll have to be careful because I think we'll go straight from that into the uh, spreader. So, how close can we get people? I want to get the purifier closest, I guess. Interceptor is probably going to pick up the seed because he needs the willpower. So, yeah, probably just a car next. Wherever one is. Then the purifier. Just doing this in order just to make sure I don't lose any movement. Because it's very important if you want to do these things with no damage. Well, we're getting closer than I thought we would. Where's one there? I am with you. There's combat. So let's... He doesn't have his auto-reload, but you can move two and shoot. Hopefully there's not a pack there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a pack back here somewhere. And then there'll be one, like, in the middle patrolling here, I believe. That's typically how they do it, like, crisscross sides. So... There's no support fire, so you can just shoot it. Is there any way to do more damage than that? I have a feeling not, but... Uh, 
Uh, do I want to commit everybody that way because we're going back this way? I mean, I actually think the chaplain... Uh, the thing is, it's got damage reduction from range. So anybody who I don't send into melee is not doing full damage, essentially. It can't inflict vul uh, vulnerability because it's immune. But that doesn't mean we can't just smack it a bunch. He can't get in at the moment, so we're going to have to use a teleport. But that he'll, he'll get some willpower back from the plant, uh, the sea pods. Steady and surely we hunt them. But it is worth remembering he is out of all the resets, so this is all the damage he's going to do. Which basically one shots it. Of course it does, because it's an interceptor and he has ridiculous crit chance now. Um, there's the pack. Do I think grabbing this seed pod will trigger it? It might, in which case we kill this first. I do want to kill as much as possible, just for the experience. Get the purifier fully leveled up, and then we can go on to the rest. So let's position as if we're going up here, then this way, and we'll probably end up pulling that pack when we grab the seed pod, but we can pull out of it if we don't and just end the turn. So that should be fine. Everyone else is going to have to go, like, round, so start heading that way. I mean, we can gate infinity if we need to to catch this pack if it's in a bad spot, but... Again, that's more for the willpower than it is for the seeds. I don't really care about green seeds at this point. We're pretty much guaranteed to face that Reaper in the end one anyway, but... Okay, so let's start heading sideways. Should I take that pack out? I'm now trying to think. I could engage it after the end turn. Because then I'd have all my resets back. But then I'd be running out of will. The thing is, with the Purify getting all the kills, not everyone's getting willpower back. So that's something to worry about. I'm thinking about it too long, so that's probably an idea that it's a bad idea how these things typically go. If I think about it too long, it's a terrible idea, and I'm trying to convince myself it's a good one. Okay, so that's turn end. Now, where's the entrances? Because ideally, I think you enter through this door, so you're right on it, and you can just roll through. So let's do that plan. And get that worked. In which case, we can just shuffle inside. Fine, He'll get there first because he's got extra movement and extra <laughs> freaking AP. But that means he can just set up. There's no pack by this tree because otherwise it would have triggered. We are going to get a second end turn. That's fine. We're not in any rush. Ooh. Remember when I said we're going to get infinity onto this pack? That's why. This changes the game. We don't have a way of turning that off. Oh, this is a bad mission to not have a disrupt on. This changes a lot, actually. Okay. Change of plan. Start nuking this thing. I need a gate area to gate of infinity onto. Because currently, we can't. Thankfully, the first one of these we run into is uh, relatively unguarded. So that turns off all the overwatches. Gate of Infinity, if I drop it now, I can only drop in an area where I'm pretty... I could sort of get behind him. But I only drop in areas where I'm kind of screwed. So let's 
get the squad back together here. Hopefully no one ends up there. Okay, so remind me what you do, sir. Anyone stepping the arc gets knocked away. Immune to armor pierce. No auto ability. Okay, so there's nothing disruption would have turned off. I thought this was an actual aura ability when I read it initially. That's fine. Um, how tough is it? How much do I think I could just smack it to death with the interceptor? Only one way to find out. How tough is this thing? Let the hunt continue. There's the other pack. Gotta be careful how far back we go. We nearly triggered two fights. I might do a full map clear at this point. It's, it's just going to be easier. Uh, I'd love to force strike it, but there's no point. Um, so let's pop this. We're going all in killing this thing. This thing is going to be the hardest thing on the map. By far. But so these should all be guaranteed crits. Armor break, not relevant. Craze, not relevant. Weaken, not relevant. So it's demon or this. We'll take the seeds initially. Should get all of our resets back because we lovely, lovely resets. Then we'll take this. So that's its flamer gone. It still will do its auto to anyone who steps in front because we haven't turned that off. Uh, don't want you to get kill on that. So since we're going to have a combat reset, let's figure out if there's a way to get the purifier or the kills. Uh, it doesn't matter really, but... Could have gone for executes on these first two. I don't think we needed to, so I saved the grenades. It's the thing. These guys are actually a little too weak for what we brought along. Like... We haven't had a need to execute anything. Alright, so that one's set up. That's pretty much a guaranteed kill. I don't want that on you. So it'd be two to go there, and that's practically a guaranteed kill. But we start by shooting you. We bring I, oh yeah, that's your bolt. I was wondering why he had a reset on an execute. Oh no, sorry. Uh, that's shooting. I want melee. But no, that's his bolt uh, having the, ex uh, the reset. Okay, so if we shoot you, you'll go down to four and die to the support fire. So that's not good enough. If we shoot you with you, you're practically low enough that it doesn't matter. Alright, so this thing looks scary. It's not that dangerous. Uh, I'm going to Cybolt here just to guarantee that he gets the kill. I don't want to miss crit and, you know, not have it happen. So how much experience is one of them? 30. Is that more than the Chaos Spawn? I think that's more than the Chaos Spawn. Well, it was an interesting first fight with one of them. Uh, do we want to go clear this pack just because now? It would slow us down, but uh, or why not? At this point, we're just farming experience anyway. So everyone group up, and then we'll just go pick that up. He should be getting close to max level, so we can start trying to do willpower kills again. Because we're getting kind of low on the interceptor, so it's okay if the interceptor's kill now. But I'm curious what else is on this map now. Uh, keep running along. Just a car as far as it will go. Advancing. Hopefully there's something we can get executes on and that'll help out. Well, oh, that is definitely something we can throw executes at. And they are mostly clustered up enough that it shouldn't matter. One gained health, the other one gained armor? Yeah. And then he's going to mutate himself to gain health. All irrelevant. Enemy sighted. Okay, so. 
need to get them in range for grenades. Can't get all of them in one, but we can get all of you, I believe, in one. Trying to make sure that they're actually all tech. Yeah, I think that's right. Because we can execute all the ones over here and then maybe leave this one for the interceptor to get willpower back. One of them apparently was stun resistant. How much so? One. Okay, that's not going to matter. Uh, purify, go get kills. I might try leave... Who has the seeds? You. Yeah, I might leave that guy alive until last. I know it's going to waste the execute, but it also means we have a chance of getting the seeds, because purple seeds are the ones we're really lacking right now. They're also typically the best upgrades. Um, yeah, just, just kill it. You have been judged. Can you get round to hit this guy? Or even just shoot him. Shooting him is fine. Don't actually need to go into melee because there's a chance he'll block. So we'll just do that and ping him. As you command. You execute that guy. And we'll have enough action points between us that... Uh, I've got those to take out as well. We can do those after the fight, though. Uh, actually, do I want to do that now? Because it save AP in the long run. How many hits do you need? A fair few. So let's get rid of them now. One with you. One with the chaplain. And then it'll be a case of if the seed isn't on the execute, we'll have to mess around with it a bit, but... We should have enough AP that it's not going to matter. Yeah, it wasn't. I've claimed a seed. I don't think the interceptor can get over to hit it. Neither can you. Do you have any way you could shoot it from just to weaken it? No. That way, if it blocks a hit, uh, this might kill it. I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, there we go. It's fine. Okay. Little diversion over. Get back to the mission. We have lost our crit buff now, so that does make us weaker versus the tree itself. But hopefully we have enough in the force that we can maybe execute off the pack that will be surrounding it and then just go that way. Everybody run, 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 because we love running on these missions. I think that way's shorter, so we'll go that way. But him anyway. Uh, yeah. It's all about just getting there at this point. That also gets us all our resets back, so we didn't waste them all on the night. Well, armature. It's not really a night. Not that the night not lasted much longer, mind you, but at least the night said something and did some cool stuff before he died. Do, do, do. Run, run, run. Speed, speed, speed. I wonder if there should be an auto move button. I mean, I guess that would go horribly wrong. But, like, tell you where you want the squad to go and then just press end turn every time it finishes. That yeah, might be a thing. So, you get back into position. This is where he was, like, three turns ago. You're in position. The interceptor can just teleport over the wall, so it's not a big deal if he's out of position. And I guess the chaplain being there will be close enough that it doesn't matter. How many tests do we have left on the thing? I didn't even know it's five plenty. Okay, we didn't have to worry about it. Like, we had the option of grabbing them, but... Uh... Nah, no point. I don't think it would make that much of a difference at this point. Okay, and kick the door in. Should just be a tree. So it shouldn't be a big deal. Yep, 
Okay. In goes. Intercept into there. All the usual. Uh, do I want to try... Debating if I want to try... Okay, I can't get through there because you're in the way. That's fine, though. You can move one. Because you're going to go into melee. Then you can move two and shoot. Partly just to trigger support fight. I'm trying to save resets, essentially. So I won't do anything with you. Higher crit. Which does matter. So we'll do it. And the reason it matters is because he has crit reset. We can burn it. He doesn't need his willpower for anything else. Like, we've lost the auto fire from the interceptor, but everyone else, all the other buffs are still there. So the, the interceptor's going to have plenty of AP and his crit resets. Which are far more important. So... If you hit that, you're going to finish it, so you go grab the seed now. And then run back. And then you go hit that. Power. Target's destroyed. Nice and simple. Next target up there. Easiest to engage from over here, I think. Don't want to get too close initially, though. We don't want to trigger it without people being at least somewhat close and we don't have gate finish to close the gap so hopefully that shouldn't trigger it because it should be a line yeah so we, we gather around where he just went because I think if we move any further forward we're going to trigger it we do have on other chapters and stuff, and our quick so We're definitely still getting there, one turning this tree plant, but. No point triggering it early. Oh, hello! Beast of Nurgle. We're getting all the new enemies today. Wonder if you can stun that thing. Is that? A, I think that's a plague guy as well, isn't it? The, the Emperor. That what are they called massive. again? It's not it plague not doctor. Brothers, destroy that thing before the demons surround you. Fair say. This mission, if you took longer on it, is going to get hectic. Because there's four lots of reinforcements. So what are they called again? Plague surgeon. That's it. Do you do anything useful? I mean, you have a lot of health, but you are stunnable, so you're not that big a deal to me. No auto abilities and flicks weak. His weapons aren't that effective. It's this that's going to be the big thing. So, did anyone else get mutations? Why can't I select the others? Oh well, must be blocked line of sight or something. Anyway, uh, okay. So who has the grenades? You do. You're the closest one, thankfully. That should be a good enough stun. We have a look at you. Ugh. I mean, I think um, Dark Tide had a far better looking one. This one looks a little bit odd with, from the front. So it has a tail swipe attack. Immobilizes Knight. Nothing there. Flicks weakened. 50% chance to re heal. If you kill it instantly, that doesn't matter. But it is stunnable. And it has extra health, extra movement. Okay. So we are first going to deal with this lot, then kill that, and then if we have time, kill the tree. I want to kill it just because at this point. It's it's not tactically advisable to focus that thing down, but we're doing it. So screw you guys. <laughs> um, is it worth... Popping, you lose one action point, but you get one back. Uh, I don't think it's worth swapping. Even though, just in case, I don't think we'll be able to execute this thing. So we need all hands on deck on terms of damage to kill it. So, you can execute there for two, so that's a good start. 
Enough. Uh, yeah, clear up all this lot first. Not bothered about getting those green seeds. I've been purple. I'd have thought about it, but it's not. So uh, we're just going to go around and get all the executes first. I am the Emperor's Fury. And then, how do we want to go about killing this thing? I imagine that's a hazard zone where we're going to get plagued. Can we drop that on it? No, it's too far. Okay. It didn't have any auto attacks, so like auto abilities. So my assumption is we're going to be fine teleporting directly onto it. Okay, he got plagued. So that's annoying, but it also doesn't matter. Because, um, well, we're going to be ending this turn anyway, so we'll still take no damage. Get a hit on the tree on the way around. Can't get there again, but we can hit the tree again, and that shouldn't kill it, but it sets it up so that if we... Okay, we didn't crit. But that's fine. I need the crits on this thing instead. Uh, we also need... I want to test what happens when you stun it. I don't think this will get an execute, but I want to know what the options are. Is that in range? Not quite. We need to go one more forward. I could just get everyone plagued, I'll be honest. It doesn't really matter at this point. I'm assuming that's because you're in the way. So let's move you... Okay, let's also test this zone. It's not saying there's a hazard there, but let's test. Okay, it's not a hazard. It's just That's a bit confusing then. This, this is more obvious than this plague zone here was. But considering this does nothing, that's a bit odd. Um, right. Should be able to get through there now. It involves stepping on a hazard thing, but I'll be honest, again, it doesn't matter. Getting plagued on the final turn does nothing. So. Let's get the stuns going out. We do have one more on the chaplain who isn't going to get in range for anything else anyway. Yes, sir. The enemy I assume you're not in range to shoot it. Nope. Could drop that on that. It's about the only thing he'll, he, he can do, so let's do it. Bonk. It also clears some of the rubble, but... Okay, so we can do that with your action. That stuns it and also uses up one of their action points. Uh, that's the auto-reload, so we could do it again, but we need to go in and uh, actually get the crit. Which I'll give the honour to you just so you can get the seed, but... So, option... Oh, there is an execute! Why can you execute this thing? It's huge. Oh well, it's purple seeds. We're taking them. I pulled a seed from this rock. Um. Okay. So this works, but we have to use quicksilver. We do have another chapter in our pocket as well. But the reason they have to use a quicksilver is he has more stun grenade. And then no one else has a stun grenade, if I remember correctly, yeah? Yeah. But because he has extra stun on his um, strike, we can also purge it of its mutations, which is actually ridiculously overpowered against this sort of thing. But uh, we can then set up an execute as well. Your effects are actually really good against this sort of thing, now I think about it. But uh, yeah. Bit of a boring execute. They should, they should have an animation that's like them, you know, like the old Dawn of War ones, where they run up and jump on it and do all sorts of flip. That would be cool for like some of the bigger enemies if they have an execute on that.
And I'll, I'll be honest, the tree didn't matter at that point. <laughs> we were having too much fun killing the enemies. <laughs> we weren't that bothered about the big blooming thing we were here for. Oh well. Easy mission. Again, we got plagued, but still zero damage, so not the biggest deal. Yeah. Now that we've seen those two first, the knight I like the idea of. It's probably a little squishy. Maybe make it a bigger enemy so it would it would count for more, so it wouldn't have those marines in the same group. But make it a little bit tougher. That'd be cool. Just so that it was it at least had to focus it down if you ran into it. And then the chaos spawn, I don't think you should execute it. Like just take the execute option away, and that would be good enough for like a small like. Not a Chaos Spawn level enemy, but a small thing that goes in a pack that's like midway between a Blight... Uh, not a Blight Crawler. Blight Hauler, that's what it is. And maybe the Chaos Spawn. Something, something along that kind of line. But anyway. Without further ado, mission upgrades. So. High damage. Has some crit on it. But that's potentially 9 damage on a strike. But it cannot cause stun. I mean, it's an interesting weapon. It's certainly a high DPS weapon. This, uh... Movement speed, willpower, resistance... Eh, it's not that good. Probably skip that one. Frag grenades. Always pick up your frag grenade upgrades. They are... Even though I use stun grenades a lot, you'll notice whenever I do bring out a frag grenade, it's basically a plasma cannon when you go to tier 3. So, it's not even close to consideration. Ooh. I can't remember if we have a better... We can't afford it if we're picking up these two. But I can't remember if we have a better... That's actually not a bad tier two. But anyway. Should be done with that. How much experience did you get? Because you got a lot. I think you literally got every kill. So close. <laughs> I'll calculate how much XP that was in a minute. But that was... That was a lot. I think it was like 300 and something? It was most of the last level. Anyways, that's that mission done. We are waiting on this to be done, but we do have to wait for the next bloom spawn for anything else to matter. So I guess we'll slot back to the middle and then we'll call it an episode. That's certainly a decent one. Met two new enemies. They didn't do anything, but they looked cool. Yeah, we'll wait to see what the result of the thing is, and then we'll call it an episode. Boop. 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 So the Interceptor got wounded, Light Wounds on the Justicar, that's fine. I am entirely okay with just Light Wounds. Th this one's a bit more of a concern, because it means I can't keep sending them, but I can just swap out the Interceptor we've currently got, if that makes sense. Uh, right. Well. Yeah. I think that's everything we need to do, so I will call it here, and I will see you guys next time.